to get started, I will be using a molcajete. A molcajete is basically a pestle and mortar. So this is what I will be mashing my ingredients in to make the salsa slash avocado tip. You could use a bowl and a masher, but this is what I'm using today. Okay, to get started, I'm going to go over the ingredients that I will be roasting. Here I have one tomatillo, and after I remove the papery husk around it, it will look like a green tomato, but it is not. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the outer husk, and I'll give it a quick rinse. And this will be part of the tomatillo salsa that I'll be adding to my aguacate or avocado. So here I have half of a small onion. I'm just going to clean that off, clean the outer skin. I have one jalapeno, and if you like a spicier version of this, you can use a serrano pepper. Here I'm just going to half the tomatillo and place it on my roasting pan that I've lined with parchment paper. And now I'm going to go ahead and get two fresh cloves of garlic. You can add more if you like, but two cloves works fine for this recipe. I will be roasting all of this in a preheated oven of 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Dax, I see you. <laughs> Okay, while all of that is roasting, I wanted to show you the rest of the fresh ingredients that I will be adding to my guacamole. Here I have one avocado, one lime, and I will also be adding some fresh cilantro. For those of you that don't like cilantro, you can leave it out, but I think this guacamole recipe needs some cilantro. For this recipe, I will be making my own chips and that requires corn tortillas. So here I have some white corn tortillas that I purchased from the store. This is about eight to 10. All I'm going to do is quarter them. So one slice down the middle and then once again. And then you have the perfect size chip. Now it's time to fry the corn tortilla chips. So here I have a baking sheet lined with paper towels and I have preheated my fry oil. You can use the oil of your choice just to make sure it has a high smoking point. You don't want it to burn. And I wanted to show you I removed the tomatillos, jalapeno, and onion, and garlic from the oven and this is what it looks like after roasting for about 20 minutes at 450. I'm just gonna set these aside and let them cool while I fry my corn tortilla chips. A good fry temperature is in between 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 375. I do not use a thermometer, I just toss in the corn tortillas and once they fry and float, I know the oil is ready. So I, I normally just test one, but if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can use a thermometer and look for the temperatures 350 to 375. And it's not going to take longer than two minutes, uh, and probably not even two minutes to fry these. You just wanna look for a nice golden brown color. And just remember, they continue cooking once you take them out. So you don't want to put them in too long because then they'll be extra dark and almost burnt.
Once I remove them and place them on the lined baking sheet, I am going to sprinkle them with salt, just a little bit. And as I continue doing this, I'll just sprinkle salt while they're hot. It helps the salt stick to the chip. Okay, so now that my chips are done, I am now going to put together this ultimate guacamole or avocado dip or tomatillo salsa with avocado in it. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's really tasty and it's one of my favorite dips to go with chips. I'm just going to go ahead and slice my lime in half. I'll be using the juice of half of this lime. I'm also going to have my avocado and prep that for when I start putting this dip together. Okay, so now that all the ingredients are in the molcajete, I'm also going to add a couple pinches of salt to taste. This is strictly to your taste. I'm going to add a little bit now and then taste it, and if it needs more, I'll add some later. Aside from using the molcajete and mashing all of the ingredients together, you can pop all of this into a blender, give it a whirl, and you'll end up with the nice creamy version of this dip. I don't know if people would get offended if I call this a guacamole, but this is what I this is how I like to make guacamole. You can add the fresh diced jalapeno, diced tomato and onion with cilantro and lime. I, I like that way also, but this is really my favorite way to eat avocado. Okay, so now that my guacamole is coming together, I'm going to squeeze the other half of the avocado. You could use a spoon and scrape out the flesh, but I find it easier and more convenient just to squeeze it out of its skin. So now I'm just going to continue mashing. Now I'm going to squeeze half of the lime and the juice of the lime actually helps the avocado stay green and bright for a longer period of time. Now I'm going to add my cilantro and just give it a good mix. Now that my guacamole is all seasoned and mixed and mashed, I'm going to put the avocado pit right in the center. And I can't really say for sure if it helps 
keep the avocado greener longer and less oxidized, but old habits die hard. And this is how we did it when I was growing up. But in all honesty, this guacamole doesn't stick around very long to see it turn brown. So let's give it a try. It's so bright and fresh and it's just absolutely perfect. To be honest, I'm probably not going to share this. I'm going in for a second bite. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, you can click on the video icons for more recipes. Or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching.